Hey everyone, we're at PAX West 2017 at the HP Omen booth. Omen is the gaming brand of HP. I'm looking at something that's pretty new. So this was teased back in June, I think, but it's new as of a couple days ago, as in you can buy it. So this is the HP Omen Accelerator. It is another of the external graphics solutions. And this one is $250 for the MSRP. It includes a 500 watt power supply, and we're going to go over the rest of the specs through this video. Before getting to that, this coverage is brought to you by the EVGA 1080 Ti SC2 and NVIDIA Destiny 2 bundle running up through September 4th. The 1080 Ti SC2 comes with asynchronous fan control for its dual fans, nine thermal sensors, and again includes Destiny 2. Learn more at the link in the description below. So getting started, the enclosure is pretty easy to open. Uh, this is your other half of the panel that I've already removed. And it removes by one switch. So there's a lever, you pull it, it comes off, and that's the end of the story there. Once you're inside, uh, it's got two slot PCIe support, so up to two slot graphics cards. And there is actually ventilation on the bottom here. So that's, that's what we like to see. Some of the other external solutions really don't do great with ventilation, but uh, this one's got a little bit of meshing down here. So if you have a dual axial fan or something like that, you'll be a little bit better off than if it were just a solid piece of metal. For the rest, there's presently, I think, a 120 millimeter fan in the front of this case, and the 120 uh, blows directly into both the power supply and the card. The power supply does not have its own fan, the one that HP includes. It's an 80 plus bronze PSU. It's uh, somewhat proprietary because it's just a 24 pin for the PCB, the PCB being what hosts the GPU. Uh, and then two six plus two pin connectors to the video card. So no fan on that. The front fan will ventilate it just fine though. And then uh, GPU will fit a PCIe 16. It, uh, we actually looked and it is wired for X16. So it's true X16. Now, as far as length, I don't have a hard number for you, but we've worked with every video card on the market uh, currently that are large and pretty much all of them would fit. Maybe not a hybrid card, but everything else you're good. Internally, uh, looking also down here, we've got uh, the PCB lower side. We don't know anything about it right now. I've asked. We need to talk to engineering about that to get more information, uh, talk about the, how the multiplexing or anything like that works. The Eraser does some interesting stuff on their core. They've done a lot of engineering on it. It's also a $500 MSRP. It's a little bit plus or minus, depending on where you buy it. Uh, single screw access back here. It's just a screwdriver pass through, or you can take all the paneling off. Everything is accessible by either an alligator clip or a Phillips screw. And in terms of the rest, I mean, it's, it's Thunderbolt, so your protocol is Thunderbolt. Connects to the laptop via Thunderbolt, just like always. You can connect to one of these, which I think is what they've done right here. And other than that, it's got a USB 3.1 Type-C and a couple of USB 3.0 Type-A's. I think they are maybe four of them on the back, plus an RJ45 for Ethernet. And then interestingly, uh, there's also a 2.5 inch drive support in the front bottom of the case. So that will let you do, I mean, 2.5 inch drives, SSD, hard drive, whatever you want to do, uh, which allows you to store your games locally if you don't have the capacity on a small laptop like that. So that's kind of interesting touch. We haven't seen a whole lot of that. Uh, but yeah, I think that covers most of it. I, you know, the PCB is probably handling some of the data stuff, the storage control. Uh, the processing for sending everything back to the laptop, but uh, we don't have any more information than that on the technical side. So it uh, should be 250 bucks. We'll have more information on this later if there's more to be had. But otherwise, that's your first look at the HP Omen Accelerator. As always, thank you for watching. You can subscribe to, for more. Go to patreon.com slash gamersnexus to help us out directly. And I'll see you all next time.